guys, welcome back to Transplants. I'm Amy, and we are going to do like a little hodgepodge because we have been doing some recording. We just haven't been posting the videos to our vlog, to our channel on YouTube, Transplants. Which, by the way, if you like the Transplants channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you like this video in particular or any of our videos, go ahead and hit that like button. But today we are going to do a little bit of what I've recorded previously mixed in with what's going on in the garden now. And at the end of it all, we're going to call it Amy's August Garden Tour. So thanks for joining me. And here we go. Let's find out what's growing and what's getting pulled out and what's dying and what's over and what's new. Let's get this garden tour going. Hey guys, I just thought I'd get on here for a second and show you what I'm up to. We have a produce, produce only type of store. It's kind of like having a farmer's market but all through the week. And as you will recall from a previous video, I explained that I only had eight quarts of spaghetti sauce. So this weekend, um, we have a friend coming over and we're going to do assembly line style making spaghetti sauce like a lot of spaghetti sauce way more than what I've raised in tomatoes and also as you know I've pulled the tomato plants and I'm starting the second round of tomatoes but just to ensure we have enough spaghetti sauce I went to the produce market uh, up the street they are about to close and I always use them as my barometer of okay spring is actually happening when they open and fall is starting to happen when they're about to close. They will be closing August, um, yeah, August 27th on my sister's birthday. But I have gone and bought five boxes of Roma tomatoes from them. But what I wanted to show you, if you recall Cheapscape Gardening, the Cheapscape Gardening video, I showed you that I ran by Dollar General and picked these up to start my seeds every year. They are 50% off right now. So this was $5, it's $2.50. So if you really want to elevate your cheapskateness in your gardening, you might check your local Dollar General. These may be half off. So now I've bought two of them for $5 instead of just the one for $5. Guys, I'm going to start right here at the fake green stock because um, you can see here most of them are still alive and going to be something here and I mean there's a lot of some of this stuff is just leaves from the stuff we use to shade up here but as you can see there get it in focus as you guys can see there um, There we go. I do have seedlings in there. Some of them I uh, planted most of them as seedlings. I don't know that I put any seeds directly into the little fake green stock, the five tier planter. But let's go to the gardens, shall we? Um, well, the first one here is the fenced-in garden, and as you can see, I've taken out some tomato plants and replaced those. I've been starting to get a lot of peppers off of this. Um, this is the tomato plant that I put in this pot here, if you recall from July's garden tour. The little jigsaw, it's still a pretty plant, but it's still a little plant which I thought that was going to be a lot bigger. And as you can see, we've got habaneros coming up there. And my lilac bush is doing well. Look at all that new growth, guys. Might be able to pull this one off this year. Um, but we'll step in here, and you can see all the weeds. I need to get in here and do some weeding. And I think it's time for the flowers to come on out because they're just kind of a mess now. I hate to pull them because I do have a lot of butterflies still visiting. But um, you can see we're still getting okra. 
like crazy if you can see that and that's here in the fenced in garden and this is the the least okra that we're getting actually and just a bunch of peppers coming off here getting ready to to be quite the pepper fest which is really good guys because I've been making the cowboy candy in the hopes of giving some of it away but I keep eating it all so that is an issue and here I have the little watermelon still growing I did harvest another cantaloupe off of this and look how sad that plant looks I think that was probably my last cantaloupe and there you have the turmeric ginger this one is not flowering like it is in the other garden um, but then we have a habanero and two Tabasco plants there now if we step in here this is where I had the mole and I have cleared out all of the tomato plants out there those tomato cages are empty because I was starting to get more bugs all over the tomatoes than what it was worth they were spoiling my tomatoes and I figured I would just get rid of them and then those bugs would go away and then by the time my other my new tomato plants started putting off tomatoes those bugs would know about it and I'd have another round of tomatoes um, but yeah you can see over here we're getting lots and lots of okra and lots of peppers I don't know how well the camera is picking that up looky there we've been getting lots of ghost peppers also so this looks pretty empty over here now since I've torn up the old tomato plants um, but that's okay because it gives me this much room to start planting other things see I've got some carrots coming up there I did not thin those out so that may not do as well as I think plus I kind of don't care because I think maybe having the mole in here might have messed them up anyways but you can see we've got plenty of peppers of all kinds jalapenos bell peppers the hot peppers all of them so let's go back here to the back garden oh before we go to the back garden remember I did plant these new um, brandywine tomatoes and that one back there in the purple cage is not looking so great but the rest of them I think are doing pretty good and growing so they will be part of second garden so hopefully we'll be harvesting some good tomatoes from those now on our way out to the back back garden I will show you remember I put a bunch of um, wildflowers and zinnias around the chicken coop on two sides and look it just looks like I need to go ahead and start cutting them down they're they're falling over and everything else I do have the rose bush that I'm not taking out there in the middle and it's grown quite a bit if you remember it was only about two feet tall and let me stand next to it yeah guys I'm six foot tall and so is the rose so that's exciting look at there it's got new growth got some buds coming so the the girls will have some flowers the same situation is kind of on this side too they're just kind of falling over and everything so I think it's time to cut those maybe do some seed saving hi girls hi all right let's walk across the driveway real quick and this is an overview of what the back garden looks like as you can see on the trellis here <clears throat> let me get away from the Mexican sunflower so you can see that this is now bare where there used to be the beans were all over this and then cucumbers up the other side but I've stripped those down and guys don't look at the weeds okay that's like a deal we're just gonna have to make for this video I have planted new cucumber and bean plants there for garden number two also there is a line of beets going through there 
cabbage and I've added a tomato plant there and a tomato plant there and let me come around this other side here you see that basil that is basil guys going crazy and I had planted a tomato plant right there by the doorway if you will here but see the flowers they're just getting kind of uh, ruggish looking and I just need to probably take those out but here you can see again on this side of the trellis I've got beans and cucumbers fresh beans and fresh cucumber plants getting ready to come up there and if we go over here again you can see a bukus of okra Tabasco plenty of peppers see here this the flowers have gotten so big they're just like leaning over so I'm going to go ahead and take some of these flowers out probably most of the flowers out and then if we come around this way you remember the bell pepper plants are doing good and we have a jalapeno going right there next to some more turmeric ginger again this turmeric ginger is also not flowering like the one in the other garden but we have that pepper plant has pulled through it looks like and look how thick I'm gonna pull the weeds for you guys um, look how thick that stalk is to those two okra plants and these okra plants are probably two feet taller than me guys look at that I gotta reach up there to get my okra at this point on these two but guys I wanted to show you this this is my uh, tree of life is what they call this it's a moringa tree I planted this from a seed and it is if I had to guess it was five feet tall from the top of its dirt in that pot up and I've got two of those going so I'm pretty proud of those and walk with me over here and you see that I've got some more seedlings started in new plants coming up that is not a, a pot plant that is a Texas star hibiscus and you can see it's about to bloom some beautiful red flowers I actually propagated that from one out in the front yard of the home house oh guys I almost forgot to tell you about this one this is an olive tree and I found it at Lowe's and didn't know anything about it and I went ahead and bought it of course I did then I did the research and I guess most people are putting them in pots and putting them inside so I put mine in a pot I see something else is growing in that pot I, I have no idea what that's gonna be guys I'll we'll have to wait and see I know you guys remember the psychotic cornfield corn garden here and what we did is I obviously I've ripped all of that out it it was a mess we did get some corn that's how um, the hippie has been making some succotash but you can see everything piled up there the old sunflowers and the old corn I ripped all of that out yesterday and we have a new fertilizer it's all natural a couple of weeks ago we had a friend come stay with us one weekend and he is a microbiologist or a marine biologist I don't really recall which biologist he is he's a really smart guy that's what he is and he was involved in the blue green algae um, figuring out basically the blue-green algae that they create up in Oregon um, they do sell it for human consumption because the amino acids are the perfect profile for the human body it has all the uh, vitamins and nutrients that the human body requires and they can condense that down into a capsule form however there was a batch that was 
like one or two numbers off from being safe for human consumption. And we are using that powder. I am adding it to water and then adding it to the dirt as my fertilizer. Um, because just because it's a number off from being human safe, the between the dirt and the plants growing and filtering, that will filter it out. I'm not poisoning myself with the poison vegetables. Um, however, it is 60% nitrogen, which as you know, if you're using wood chips as your compost creation, um, as the wood chips disintegrate, they actually use up nitrogen. So nitrogen, using wood chips as your composting dirt, is a tricky balance with that nitrogen. So this is kind of a new project and it looks empty now. However, I have made right here, I've made a row of sunflowers and then a row of beets. And then I did a broad row right here of a ground cover, which was peas and oats. If you recall the seed unboxing video Kim and I did, that's what I've put right there. Not the whole thing, but I just want to see what's going on with it. And then, just because I had a few more seeds left over from this year, I threw in some eggplant from where that little stick, believe it or not, that stick is a marker. <laughs> from there to the end of the garden, I've got eggplant seeds. And I don't know if they'll come up because they were older seeds, but at this point I'm just throwing it in there and seeing what happens. And I've also got okra in here as well. Now I did plant some peanuts and I've just got like two peanut plants I think coming up in the garden that has the mole, unfortunately. So I did take the rest of my peanuts that I had available for planting and put them in this pot. I've never grown peanuts before so I really am going at it blind. Um, Kim has some peanuts and she's in fact where I got the peanuts to plant. Um, we'll see what happens there. But as you can see, things are clearing out and things are coming in and things are changing. Okay, it's getting ready to rain. I can hear the thunder. And this is the psychotic corn garden that I tore everything out of fertilized and tilled back up. I have okra planted here that you can see coming up for garden two. And I also have done a strip on the toilet paper using toilet paper as seed tape for the carrots. And this is just oats and peas as covering and this is going to be a bunch of hopefully some beets. There's supposed to be a strip of beets in the middle there and some flowers. We're behind the home house now and as you can see the cherry tomatoes are finally starting to wane. They were my last holdout and so those those are going to be ripped out and something else put in its place and I have been putting new cucumber plants and pepper plants along the base of that trellis that goes up to the house. And here's the turmeric ginger that did flower right there. And I did add a San Marzano. As you can see there, it kind of draped up against the trellis here. And I have started putting new bean plants and some cabbage, starting some cabbage. I really wouldn't do cabbage, but the girls love cabbage. And I moved some seedlings out here of spinach, and they're kind of laying over. We've had so much rain, I don't know if they're going to make it or not. But then, you remember, I've still got the pepperoncini, a Tabasco, and a bell pepper plant here. This calendula, guys, look, there's no question now, it is dead. I need to pull that up. So, this one's still got some clearing out to do. I'm kind of clearing out at the same time as moving new plants in. So if we go over here and just take a look at the herb garden under the willow tree, 
I did about two weeks ago come in here and just sprinkled seeds just threw the seeds out there like I'm not a master gardener I just sprinkle the seeds and see what happens so I have done that so this might be really interesting come next spring now let's go over here back next to the corn garden where the owl is we call this one the pepper garden because every year towards the end of the year it's just full of pepper plants pretty much um, you can see I've got a fairly newer tomato plant here and it's starting this is one for second garden and you see it's getting the yellow flowers already um, I did pull out if you remember from July's garden tour I tore out like four or five tomato plants from this section and I replaced them with three and those plants are doing well and again guys the basil I'm not really that interested in that much basil and the zinnias I need to come and take those zinnias out and they are laying on a bunch of pepper plants so I really do need to cut those and get them out of here now this I have come in kind of half-assed it to be honest I tore out some of the you remember this was green beans uh, homestead beans and the um, trail of tear beans were crawling up this trellis so I've started ripping some of it down and it's dying back but see when I I tear this down you see how intertwined that is around the cattle panel so I have to actually come in here with a pair of scissors and cut that out to totally clear it which I still need to do but in the meantime I have started some new bean plants and this is a zucchini a black zucchini squash there that I've planted from a seed I just put the seed in there and so true to form we have peppers coming off everywhere so as we make our way through here that concludes what's going on in the garden in August it's not quite as beautiful as it could be but it's still producing and uh, we're going to be taking some of the old out and putting new in I will tell you that this this vine here is actually a moonflower that I dabbled in there with my um, bean stalks and the moonflowers are finally taking off and being beautiful I've got one in the front garden and it is really taking off let's go see that of course when I say I want to show it to you guys because it's beautiful all the blooms are closed um, they open up at night and it is just gorgeous if you can see how there's a little piece of that cattle panel in there and then I planted it down at the base of that it has crawled up over my pots of mint and around my water barrel here guys and it's even coming on down I may have to kind of contain it I don't want it to choke out my gardenia bush there but that is the sum of it guys a little side note here I have these three pots up front in the front part of outside the greenhouse and I did plant pumpkin there's two pumpkin plants there that will hopefully vine out all over the place there's a blueberry bush right there in the middle the, the elephant ears were a mistake years ago and they're just so evasive they don't, they don't quit and this is my sweet potato vine and the sweet potatoes are just going all the way around there so I did want to mention that too alright guys there you have it um, it is August it's at the end of August now and I know that July's garden tour looked like it was full of transformation with things being pulled and new things getting ready to be put in 
and August is basically an extension of that. However, we did do a lot of canning. The 125 pounds of Roma tomatoes that I had there in the car, we did can those and it came out by the time we processed the tomatoes, ran them through the press, and then cooked the water off of them, cooked them down for a while, boiled it out. It came to 34 quarts and one pint. So just if you're interested in how that all went, it was quite an all day job. I had done that on a Sunday and Saturday before then I made a bunch more of the cowboy candy and packed it away so I will leave that alone. And Kim and I went on a tour somewhere else. We did take pictures of that tour and we will be getting together tomorrow to try to put that video together. Also tomorrow I will be going to Kim's to do Kim's August garden tour. So there will be more videos coming in the future. Uh, we just got really, really busy. Kim took about a week off for some personal time. She, she was spending time with a, a very long time friend of hers. And um, we've just been busy gardening and dealing with the chickens and canning and canning and freezing and doing all the preserving things. And uh, But there are more videos to come. We have Kim's garden tour coming up. We have a tour that Kim and I did that's not at either of our properties, so that'll be an interesting story for you guys to follow. And anyways, I just hope that you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Instagram. I believe we're Transplants252 on Instagram, and I just go on there from time to time and post some photos. Uh, I've not done a story yet. I'm not even sure how to do the story yet. But if you just want to see some still photos that we may have going on, check us out on Instagram as well. Until then, I hope God treats you as well as you treat everybody else. And take care. Thanks for watching.